God has an incredible life for you. He really does. But, but you ain't going to get there if you give up. You can't get to what God got for you if you, if, if, if you, if you stop. You, you can't get to what God got for you if you're afraid. Now, I know taking chances is, is, is kind of fretful. But the best things in life is on the other side of fear. But one of the things that I've always done to help overcome my fears is I make my dreams bigger than all my fears. I have dreams that's so big that not, not getting there is just unacceptable. It, it doesn't make any sense for you not to have the life that you dream of. It does not make any sense. God really does want to use you as an example of what he can do. You just got to volunteer. But you got to be willing to go through something to get to it. it. Success ain't free. They ain't passing out money, man. Anybody sending none to your house, that ain't how this works. You got to go get it. But in order to go get it, you got to want something. You got to have vision boards. You got to have stuff you dream about. You got to have this stuff written down. That being successful is not an accident. Hey, man, stop thinking, man, that your life is old because you're a certain age. Oh, who are you to determine? You know what I can't stand when I hear Christians say, well, I guess it, I guess it was the Lord's will. If it was the Lord's will, I would have had some money by now. No, 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 you can't dump that on God. God's will is that you prosper. That's his will. Now, the fact that you have made some adverse decisions to stop your prosperity train from happening. Don't dump that on him. God comes to give you life and give you life more abundantly. That's what he say. Well, then the question is, where you're abundant at? You're going down to church, you're memorizing all these scriptures. Why don't, you, why don't you apply some of them? He come to give you life and give you life more abundantly. God got a great life for you, man, but you got to want something. You got to want it, you got to write it down. Most people don't have what they want in life because it ain't written down nowhere. But you go to church and heard that scripture, but I guess you thought they wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Habakkuk 2 and 2 says, you must write the vision and make it plain yeah. so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it tarry, that means take a long time. Wait for it, for surely it will come at an appointed time. That's a scripture. That's a scripture. Say no philosophy. This a fact. What you waiting on? Write it down. Put some faith on it. And then get ready to go to work. Sit up and you can believe in God all you want, but if you don't work, man, it ain't going to happen. Because he, he told you that, though. He said faith without works is dead. I'm just asking you, man, to try something new. If you've tried everything, it ain't worked for you. I'm just asking you, just, just try writing it down. Just try writing it down. Go home and read Habakkuk 2 and 2 and see, it, see if you don't get the feeling he's talking to you. After you write it down, I want you to put some faith on it. When you put some faith on it, I want you to work for it. I want you to believe in your heart that you will have it. Now, you might not want this life. You might not want what it takes to get here. But if you want this life, you got to put it in your work. You got to put it in. You got to stay prayerful. You got to never give up. You got to talk to God every day. Now, if that ain't what you want to do, then good luck. You keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been going, getting. I would try something else if I was y'all. I appreciate y'all coming. Thank y'all very much.